Are there AI-friendly and AI-unfriendly states? That seems to be the case. Let's talk about it. So welcome back to AI Insights and Innovation, where we talk about the reality of using, using artificial intelligence systems for your enterprise and making hay of the news events and analysis in terms of how AI is affecting our day-to-day -day lives and affecting our businesses. Let's start the conversation. So the genesis of this came from a reporter who reached out to me to get commentary on some uh, news out of California, uh, specifically uh, California, who has obviously been the center of the universe when it comes to AI innovation, having Silicon Valley right there uh, in the Bay Area, uh, has recent leg uh, legislative efforts to reveal more nuanced stance. In 2024, California proposed the AI Accountability and Transparency Act, uh, setting a precedent for AI regulations aimed at balancing the innovation with ethical considerations. The bill includes several key provisions. Uh, they're going to have algor algorithmic tra transparency, in other words, to see what these algorithms are doing. Uh, developers must disclose data sources and explain decision-making process to ensure that AI systems do not uh, cause bias or discrimination. Uh, also, data privacy protections, stricter guidelines on how AI technologies uh, in pers uh, use personal data, emphasizing user consent and data protection, uh, and then ethical AI use uh, <clears throat> established a state of oversight body to ensure AI applications adhere to ethical standards in particular sensitive areas. And also they're proposing something uh, that's not stated here. They're proposing a kill button. So uh, that if everything goes awry and your AI engine is, uh, is doing things that the uh, uh, California gov government doesn't want you to do, they're able to hit a button and stop it. And Obviously, this is getting a bit of discussion because uh, folks in the Bay Area, Silicon Valley, um, have been pushing for some sort of regulation. They, they understand the power of AI and they understand that if it's going to have an effect, that it needs to be regulated, uh, but doing so probably at the federal level versus the state level. And they're pushing back on this, on this uh, law, this act that's being pushed forward by the uh, California uh, legislative branch there. And the reason are, reason why is it's going to um, reduce growth and review, reduce innovation in uh, California specifically, and they're concerned about uh, technology companies considering this law, considering this uh, regulation to be a risk to them, and just picking up and moving out of the state. Uh, that's the deal with just dealing with something at a state level and not at a federal level. Uh, if you don't like the law's uh, in terms of the tax regulations and the local state and government regulations, you just pick up and leave. And obviously that can be a, a downside to California if a lot of their tax base uh, moves out of the state to Texas, Nevada, uh, other states they may consider friendly to, a, uh, to AI. So the people pushing this legislation argue it's necessary to safeguard citizens' rights since your AI technology serves the public good rather than simply corporate interests. Critics, however, claim these regulations could stifle innovation, drive tech companies to more lenient states, which is what I, what I see as the outcome of this, and slow down deployment of beneficial AI applications in critical industries. I, I'm not sure if this is going to make it uh, into law, um, but I think stranger things happen. And I think the concerns of the tech community in California are legitimate. In other words, we're, they're concerned about if this thing is considered stifling there's other places we can go, and certainly AI is going to run in the cloud in many instances, and uh, I'm not sure how they're going to regulate that, and so we'll just push it outside the state. And so we're going to see some of these things starting to occur in terms of proposed laws and regulations that are going to occur at the, uh, at the state and local level, which is what this one is, and also at the federal level, which it already has started. In other words, are already having discussions in terms of where AI is looking to go and putting uh, regulatory controls on the system, things like that. And that's going to be a bit of a nest of snakes, I think, when uh, they get into that. It seems like the governments are always four or five years behind where the technology is. Uh, we saw this in the whole rise of the dot-com stuff, and I think we're going to see similar things here. So I think this is going to be a bit of a balancing act uh, when you get right to it. The differing approaches among states... Um, highlighted a debate that's gone going right now. How do you harness AI's immense potential and power while addressing valid concerns about bias, job displacement, and transparency? And I, I kind of get both sides. I understand why California is proposing this, because AI, uh, in their view, and certainly the view of the layman's, is going to be this big, scary thing where 
Uh, it has the potential of taking over business processes, displacing employees. And obviously, AI systems don't pay taxes. So that's going to be a bit of a threat to the state and lo local governance, governments that make money from that. And so we are getting into a point where states are moving into being AI friendly and states are moving into being AI unfriendly. And people would consider California, I guess, moving into the unfriendly category, even though I think it remains to be seen whether this stuff is going to get out there and it's going to become law. So this patchwork work of regulations is going to lead to challenging in harmonizing AI policies across state lines. I think that if we're complicating efforts at the national strategy level, if we're putting a lot of regulations in place at the state and with the state and local governments, that I think that kind of takes away from the fact this is going to be a larger uh, federal issue that needs to be considered. So in other words, Congress uh, is going to have to consider if any regulations are going to come in place, how are they going to be regulated? What should they be regulated? How are they going to be enforced? All these sorts of things really kind of come into play. Um, and again, I think people who are looking to create these regulations see AI as this big, scary monster that's going to potentially harm lots of people when it's probably not that. In other words, AI is certainly a, a good tool and businesses are going to leverage it to a nice profitable end. It's going to solve lots of problems. It will displace some people and it will make mistakes. Um, However, at the end of the day, I think the net uh, net of this is going to be uh, more jobs. And if we keep the bias under governance, then that shouldn't be an issue. And if we build these things responsibly and we build them ethically, I think everything should be fine. I think a lot of the stuff is going to be regulated by the businesses that are building these systems unto itself. But the concern is, and probably a valid concern, uh, that some businesses won't. Um, and there's going to be some bad actors out there that are able to weaponize AI into doing something that they view as, uh, as a downside or a negative to society and human beings that are working for the company and human beings that are using those products and services. So what states are considered AI friendly? Uh, looking around, it's kind of the common consensus is that they are Texas. Uh, they're known to have a business-friendly climate, um, and they're attracting tech companies, specifically AI tech companies. Florida as well, similar stance to Texas. Um, they don't have a state income tax, and so they've become a business-friendly state. North Carolina, with the Research Triangle Park, seems to be uh, courting some of the AI startups and big companies that are making bank on AI, such as AWS, Microsoft, and Google. Massachusetts, which is always kind of a key um, technology uh, center, is looking to build on AI uh, in terms of their capabilities as well. Washington State, another AI-friendly state, as well as uh, Colorado. And, uh, and they're known for you know, growing in tech industries and things like that. And also, it's, it's interesting to note that they don't seem to be consistently a blue state or a red state. Um, they're just states that are more technologically focused and are considering the value that this technology can bring, uh, specifically your ability to uh, bring more tax revenue in, which is good for them. So what about the term AI unfriendly and uh, as applicable to states? Maybe it's too strong of a word in some cases. I don't think they're unfriendly to AI. I think they're just suspicious. Probably it's a better way to put it. And they're looking to regulate AI uh, a bit more than some of the other states. And obviously California, as we just discussed, uh, they have the AI Accountability and Transparency Act, which is being pushed around, uh, which is uh, concerning to lots of tech startups and tech companies that are there, certainly in the in the Bay Area, the Silicon Valley area. New York uh, is considered AI friendly, uh, AI unfriendly. Uh, they take a proactive stance in regulating emerging technologies, including AI, uh, which is concerning to the tech growth there. Illinois, known for implementing its Biometrics Information Privacy Act. Um, which has stringent rules around data privacy and use of biometric data, which is going to impact AI. And then Vermont. Uh, I don't know a lot of tech that's going on in Vermont, but maybe you can tell me in the comments there if, if that's not the case. They've been involved with discussions around the ethical implications of AI and data privacy and advocating strong consumer protections. So it doesn't look like they're working on anything too sweeping there. So probably to list them as AI unfriendly may be a bit unfair uh, off the list I got. But um, you tell me if you think that there's other states that should be on this list or should be on the friendly list. Love to hear about it. 
So that's all I have for you this week. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and also comment below and let me know what you want to hear on this uh, on this show. And I'm happy to cover it. So we're looking to get into some, to some topics. I think that a lot of people aren't getting into in terms of where AI is going and what are the news and analysts of the companies and the people and the technology that's driving kind of this next revolution that's occurring in the technology industry. So until next time, you guys stay safe. Cheers. Well, that's all I have for you this week. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, check out our work at The Cube Research. Also, check out the uh, content from my uh, other compadres and uh, in terms of podcasts and videos and articles, things like that. Lots of great stuff out there. Lots of great analysis is coming from this organization. Also, don't forget to drop me a line and comment below if you'd like to see any particular topics covered. So until next time, you guys stay safe. Cheers.